Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you all about my hair. I just recently got a haircut, so I'm now learning how to style my hair when it's short. And yeah, this is me just playing around with my wet hair. I just took a shower, so let's take you step by step through what I do when my hair is wet to when it's fully styled and dry. So, first thing I'm going to do is clip it up. I'm using these little styling clips that are really easy, but they're really small, so I need to use two to hold up some of my hair. Next, I'm going to use the Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Leave-In Conditioning Cream. I really love this product. I actually have two different scents. And I'm just going to apply just a tiny amount because if you do put too much of this, then it does make your hair look kind of greasy. But I do section off my hair so then I make sure that I get every strand. Since my hair is very thick, it is very difficult to apply just a tiny amount and get all my hair. So I like to do this in sections just to make sure that I'm applying it to all the strands like I said. And I try to apply a little bit... Uh, as I go so whenever I drop a layer of hair I will apply less than I would the first time because I do like to keep this amount um, very small I don't want my hair to look greasy when I'm done but I do need this treatment because my hair is very thick and frizzy so I'm just doing the crown of my head now um, I'm just applying a tiny, tiny bit just to the ends because I do not apply this to um, the top of my hair because, like I said, it will make it look greasy. So I'll just run a smaller amount throughout the whole, um, throughout my whole hair just to make sure that everything was covered and I'll just run my fingers through it and evenly distribute that product. Now I'm going to go ahead and brush my hair. I'm using the wet brush. Uh, I've talked about this before. I really love that brush. It's very gentle on wet hair. So that is what my hair looks like after I apply the product. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply my Tresemme Platinum Strength um, Heat Protectant. And again, I'm going to section off my hair because I want this to be applied to all of my strands. But I will apply it and straighten my hair as I go. So my hair is still kind of damp right now so I'll just apply this and wait for my hair to dry a little bit and then I will run my straightener through. Now I'm going in with my straightener and my lower section is pretty dry now at this point. I did cut out the waiting time but I'm just running my straightener through and this is pretty self-explanatory. Um, straightening is very straightforward and my hair is already straight. All I'm doing is just smoothing out the frizz and just really shaping my hair because my hair is very thick so it tends to curl inwards even though it's straight if that makes any sense at all and that's what it looks like when it's nice and straight so now i'm just doing the same thing to the other side just running my straightener through and just warming it up before i actually go in and flatten it um, i do like to run my fingers through and make sure there's no kinks or tangles or anything like that and i'll just continue to straighten the back of my hair So now that that section is done, as you can see, it's pretty straight. I will drop down another section and then go again with my heat protectant to, uh, I'm going to apply my heat protectant again just to the section of the hair that I'm going to be straightening.
and that is the second layer. So again, I'm just going to run my straightener over my strands, just warm up the hair a little bit before I actually go in and style it. I did have to wait in between these sessions um, for my hair to dry a little bit because I don't like to blow dry my hair. I feel like it makes it very, very frizzy unless I'm just using a hair dryer that sucks. It's most likely the case, but I just like to let my hair air dry because straightening does already provide like a really bad um, amount of heat. So. I like to avoid the heat styling as much as possible. So again, I'm just going to apply some more heat protectant spray. This is super, super important if you don't want your hair to fry off. It definitely um, has to have grown on me because I never used to use heat protectant, but I've found that it actually makes a huge difference. So now just for my top section, I will just section off the off to one side because I like to part my hair on a side not necessarily down the middle and I'll just go over all the strands and make sure everything is smooth and not frizzy and straight Now I'm going in with my fave product. This is the Garnier Whole Blend Smoothing Oil in the Coconut Oil and Cocoa Butter Scent. This stuff is amazing. If you have not picked it up, please do. I'm only going to use a tiny, tiny amount because this is a straight up oil and it will make your hair look so greasy if you use way too much. So you want to use the tiniest amount and just evenly spread this all over your hair um, I do not section my hair for this part because if I do then I'm just applying way too much oil so I just like to place it over where I may have a little bit of um, flyaways and a little bit of frizziness and I'll just like run it over the front part of my hair and the back especially and I'll just run my fingers through and whatever is left on my hands I will run through the the top and pretty much just everywhere but make sure you only use a small small amount because you do not want to use a lot of this it will ruin everything that you just did so that is pretty much it as you can see my hair went from crazy frizzy to pretty flat and smooth and it feels super super soft if you could only feel this you would understand what I'm trying to say and yeah so I don't like to use any volumizing products because I do have a lot of thick hair so the volume is there naturally so I just like to smooth it all out and make it look soft and touchable and yeah I just like to toss my hair around and not really style it in any sort of way this is just kind of how I would go. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching, and I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave them down below, and I will be sure to get back to you.